Okay, this is a DD Amanda analysis of EEGI, Eline Entertainment. Now, what happened here recently uh, is this was a shell that Rhonda Kevney had, and she just sold it to a Chinese construction company. So, this is a reverse merger play. Um, this is a 90 day chart here. Uh, I guess something, uh, there was some pre news came out, or somebody heard about something because uh, looks like on Halloween <laughs> she started getting some real activity here and she's bounced around between four and five and what have you but yesterday she had a 200 day high on the price of trip nine and today she had an, uh, another intraday high 200 day at 11 okay and another 200 day high of dollars traded. She had traded over a quarter million dollars, almost a half million. Now, why did this go down today? I mean, she's down 11%. Well, here's my theory. Um, you got a lot of guys bought in, in at four, five, you know, even six is their cost basis. So when they, they, they filed this, uh, they fi actually filed an 8K, so these guys are SEC filing. They filed the 8K yesterday, that's why it took this huge jump, 80% uh, up. Um, but what's happened now is all day today, let me bring over level 2. Okay, so all day today she's like bouncing between uh, 10 and 11. And then toward the end of the day, she she dropped down to nine and then eight. Okay, uh, almost half a million shares traded. So I think what happened is um, these guys that are in at a cost basis way below, you know, where she is now, they got out, they flipped out. So with them gone, I'm expecting. Well, first I'm expecting some news. Uh, about this actual company that's moving in and she should go then. I'm willing to bet she's going to go more then. Anyway, that's my theories and uh, keep an eye on it. Oh, look at this. You've got a drag ratio of 15, which means that she is 15 times more likely to go up than down. And our RSI is still at 64, which is nothing. So there you go, guys. That's it.